In this video, we're going to learn how to convert back and forth between moles and liters of a gas at STP. We'll do some problems like these, and we'll look at some common mistakes. Here's our first question. What is the volume in liters of 3.8 moles of CO2 gas at STP? Let's talk about some information that's going to help us solve this problem. First off, what's STP? Well, STP is an abbreviation for standard temperature and pressure. And standard temperature and pressure are 0 degrees Celsius and 1 atm. So whenever we're talking about something that takes place at STP, it means that the temperature is 0 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 1 atm. Here's another piece of information that's really helpful. When we are at STP, when we're at 0 degrees Celsius and 1 atm, one mole of any gas takes up 22.4 liters of volume. Okay, 22.4 liters, this is like a certain amount of space. And this is how big 22.4 liters is. I made this box here, okay? So if we we're at STP and we filled this box up with gas, or we had a balloon that was the size of this box and we filled it up with gas, we would have one mole of gas here in these 22.4 liters, okay? So, Using this information, let's just kind of think through this problem, okay? We have 3.80 moles of CO2 gas, okay? We know that at STP, one mole of gas takes up 22.4 liters, okay? So if we had one mole of gas, we'd have 22.4 liters. That's how much space it would take up. But we don't have one mole. We have 3.80 moles. So we want to multiply this by 22. 0.4, which is the amount of space that one mole takes up at STP, okay? This is sort of the method that we use to think through it. Now let's look at how we could solve this using conversion factors, okay? We're starting with 3.80 moles, and now we want to multiply this by a conversion factor that's going to get rid of moles and is going to take us to liters, okay? To do this, we're going to want to take this information and write it as a conversion factor. We could kind of sum up this information as an equation, as an equivalence like this, where we say that one mole is equal to or is equivalent to 22.4 liters, okay? And now we have something that will really conveniently let us write a conversion factor, okay? There are two possible conversion factors that we can write from an equation like this, okay? The first, we'll put this on top and this on the bottom, okay? And it's going to look like one mole on top over 22.4 liters on the bottom. Now, the other conversion factor that we can write from this is the exact opposite. It's just flipped, okay? So we do 22.4 liters on the top and one mole on the bottom. Both of these are completely valid conversion factors. We could use either one of them. But in this problem, we want to use a conversion factor that's going to get rid of moles from the top of this equation. So we are going to want to use a conversion factor that has moles on the bottom. So for this particular problem, we are going to be using this conversion factor, okay? So now we have moles on the top, moles on the bottom. They're going to cancel out, and that's going to leave us with liters. And the math that we're going to do is this times this divided by this. And as you can see, dividing by 1 doesn't really change something's value. So all the math we're doing is this times this, which is exactly the math that we came up with when we were just kind of thinking through the problem, okay? Our final answer is going to be 81, 85.1 liters. We round this to three significant figures because there are three significant figures here, three significant figures here, and this one here is part of a definition. It's part of an equation like this, so we don't worry about this one. It has essentially an unlimited number of significant figures, so we round to three. 85.1 liters is how much volume, how much space, 3.80 moles of CO2 gas would take up at STP, okay? Let's move on. Okay, I'm gonna do this problem, and then I'm gonna talk about some common mistakes. Okay, how many moles are in 58.6 liters of nitrogen gas, N2, at STP? Okay, so again, here's the information that we need. At STP, one mole of any gas takes up 22.4 liters of volume. Okay, so if we had 22.4 liters of nitrogen gas, 
we'd have just one mole. We have more than 22.4 liters, so we're gonna have more than one mole. And what we wanna do is we wanna know essentially how many times 22.4 goes into 58.6. So we're gonna do 58.6 divided by 22.4. We're gonna find out how many times this goes in, and it's gonna tell us how many moles would fit into 58.6 liters, okay? Now to do this with, with conversion factors, we're gonna start with 58.6 liters, and we are going to take this relationship and think about it sort of as an equation like this, which is gonna let us write these two conversion factors. And we're gonna to wanna to choose the one that's gonna get rid of liters, which is on the top here. So it's gonna be the one here that has liters on the bottom. Move it over to here. Liters cancels out, liters cancels out. It's gonna leave us with moles. And the math that we do is 58.6 times one divided by 22.4, which again, as you can see here, is the same math we do here when we're just thinking it through, right? Because this one doesn't really make a difference. All we're really doing is 58.6 divided by 22.4. The units cancel out and we get 2.62 moles, rounding to three significant figures because this one here doesn't count since it's part of this official definition, 2.62 moles. Okay, now even if you're getting the hang of this, hold on for just a sec, because I wanna talk about two super common mistakes that a lot of people make and I really don't want you to make them. Okay, here's the first super common mistake. What is the volume in liters of 10.3 moles of oxygen gas at 25 degrees Celsius and two ATM of pressure, okay? Well, to solve this, a lot of students would say, well, one mole of gas takes up 22.4 liters of volume, and I have 10.3 moles instead of one mole. So I'm gonna do 10.3 times 22.4, and you could use conversion factors to do it like this, okay? Now, here's a trick. This is totally wrong. Can you see why? Well, it has to do with this thing here. At STP, one mole of gas takes up 22.4 liters. But remember, STP is zero degrees Celsius and one ATM, okay? 25 degrees Celsius and two ATM is not STP. And this whole thing where one mole equals 22.4 liters takes up 22.4 liters of space, it only works at STP. It only works at zero degrees Celsius and one ATM of pressure. It doesn't work at other conditions, say 25 degrees Celsius and two ATM of pressure. So we can't use this information to solve the problem unless we are at STP. If you had to solve a problem like this, you'd wanna use the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT, because the ideal gas law works when you're not at STP. I've got a whole bunch of videos on the ideal gas law. Check those out if you wanna learn more. Okay, here's another really common mistake, and it's super tricky. Sometimes teachers and textbooks really love this one, okay? Here's how it goes. How many moles are in 29.4 liters of liquid ethanol at STP, okay? And a student might solve this problem like this, okay? Why isn't this right, okay? We're at STP, so we can use one mole equals 22.4 liters, and we can multiply that by this conversion factor. But can you see the trick here? We're talking about liquid ethanol, okay? And this idea of one mole equals 22.4 liters only works with gases. Okay, so don't get tricked by this. Always double check that you're working with a gas at STP, not a liquid or a solid. So if the problem is asking you about something that's a liquid or a solid, you can't use one mole takes up 22.4 liters. You have to solve it in a different way. But just basically, don't get tricked by this. Don't get tripped up. Make sure that you're talking about gas at STP, not something that's a liquid or a solid. Now I'm gonna do two more questions where we just do some, some calculations between moles and liters if you want a little bit more practice. What volume would 0.735 moles of O2 gas occupy at one ATM of pressure and zero degrees Celsius? Okay, so first of all, we look at these conditions and we know we're at STP, so we can use one mole equals 22.4 liters, okay? So if we had one mole of O2 gas, it would take up 22.4 liters. We have less than one mole, 
So this amount of gas is gonna be taking up less than 22.4 liters. But still, to find out how much space this would take up, we are gonna to wanna to take this amount of moles and multiply it by the amount of space that one mole would take up at STP. This is kind of how we'd think through it. And now to use a conversion factor, we're gonna start with 0 0.735 moles, and we're gonna multiply it by a conversion factor made from this relationship. So here are our two choices, with this on top, with this on the bottom, and flipped. We wanna choose the one that's gonna get rid of moles, so puts it on the bottom. Uh, I'll put it right here. Moles cancels out, moles cancels out, leaves us with liters. This times this divided by one is going to be 16.5 liters, which as we predicted is a little bit less than 22.4 liters. We're going to do one more. 13.0 liters of chlorine gas at STP contains how many moles? Okay, we know we're at STP, so we can use this relationship. If we had 22.4 liters of chlorine gas, we'd have one mole. We have less than 22.4 liters, so we're going to have less than one mole, but basically we want to find out how many times 22.4 goes in to 13. So the math is going to be 13.0 divided by 22.4, or with a conversion factor, it's going to be 13.0 liters times one of these conversion factors that we make from this relationship. We're going to choose a one that puts liters on the bottom so that they cancel out. Liters on top, liters on the bottom cancels out. It leaves us with moles, and we're gonna do this times one divided by this, the same math we did up here, and our final answer is gonna be uh, 0 0.580 moles, which is less than one mole because 13.0 liters is less than 22.4 liters. Okay, so. That's how you convert back and forth between moles and liters of a gas at STP. The two things you always want to keep in mind is one, you want to make sure that the, uh, the problem that you're working with actually says that you're at STP, zero degrees Celsius and one ATM. If you're not at zero degrees Celsius and one ATM, you can't use this relationship between one mole and 22.4 liters. The second thing that you want to keep in mind is that we have to be talking about a gas. Even if it's something that's at zero degrees Celsius and one ATM, if it's a liquid or a solid, you can't use this relationship. So keep your eyes open, double check those so you don't get tripped up when you're doing these kind of problems.